So these turned into Hey guys, welcome to Will It Trade, episode 2. On the trade docket today, we have some unique games. Actually, some pretty awesome games. Mega Man 5, 4, and 3, complete in box. And I actually had a YouTube viewer and somebody who's become a friend, he's local. These were on my eBay store, uh, and these are kind of going to our house fund our new house fund and so that's why I listed them but he was interested in a trade for those and I said maybe and we've worked out a deal so that's happening and then the other thing where I don't have any deals secured on the trade docket okay sorry the gimbal just died but I'm just gonna keep going so the other thing on the trade docket today is switch light I've got black yellow and blue so I'm gonna try to get all of these traded um, so the Mega Man's I already have a deal that I'm gonna go pick up and the goal is to get more in value in the trade than what I could get if I sold them without trading so we're gonna see how it goes and hopefully it'll happen um, but yeah Let's do this thing. Well, I'm going to add another black switch to the trade docket because somebody else is interested in a black one. I've got a deal in the works. Nothing finalized still, but I'm, gonna, I'm going to be heading out. Um, I'm filming another video today as well, a local deals video where I'm buying stuff. So I'm meeting somebody for a purchase. That'll be in a video coming soon. So that's separate. But then I have this trade going down, and I'm hoping that the person getting the three switches is able to meet me today. And then the other person getting this one, hopefully they can meet me about the same time as Josh, who I'm meeting to trade these two. So trying to work out the logistics of it. Working a lot of messages right now, but it's exciting. So I think times are unique right now because the demand for switches is like through the roof. But even after the pandemic, I think demand for switches is so insanely high that this could potentially be like a business model on a small scale for me or for you guys. Um, trading things that have super high demand for older games that you can more than double your money in some cases um, where if you were to sell the item by itself. So... This is interesting. I'm intrigued. Uh, it was kind of a concept that I thought might be possible. Uh, Phoenix Resale made it happen a couple times. He inspired me to try it for myself. And so I think this series is going to thrive. Um, and I might have to order more Switch lights. I've still got three yellow ones, but I like to have all the colors to give a little bit of variety and trade bait. Um, so yeah, this is crazy, but I'm excited. Let's go get some trades. So these turned into this and I'll show you guys when I get home okay guys so here's everything that I got for the Mega Man 3 4 and 5 complete in box all the boxes had a good bit of wear um, I was asking four hundred and ten dollars on eBay for everything so probably about 340 after fees value so that's essentially what I'm trying to get in trade trying to exceed $340 in trade value and the good thing is Wii's are crazy spiked right now and these both work and include everything including Wii Sports complete in box so I listed them both for 250 I believe uh, so hopefully those sell soon and then that should just pretty much get the trade even and maybe even a little bit of profit 
And then these, or this, PS2 works well. It comes with two good working controllers, the memory card. So this is going to be the gravy. And then Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, Smash Bros 3DS, Pac-Man Party is sealed on the Wii, and then Minecraft for the 360. So that's the trade. Uh, the Mega Mans have been listed for a long time. I had them at a premium. Um, slow sellers, and this stuff should be quick sellers. Uh, in normal conditions, I probably wouldn't have done the trade because, you know, systems normally aren't worth what they are right now. But since they are, and since I can get the money very quickly in this case, I felt like it was a good trade. Um, and Josh, I think, did well too because he got some amazing collection pieces. And let me just say... I sat here for five minutes and I saw four like local deals go down around me so that's crazy like people are definitely on Facebook marketplace like crazy right now so if this is something you're interested in doing I would recommend doing it now because the market is huge and I've had so many messages um, yeah I've actually got even more deals in the works for more switch lights so Stay tuned, because I got a feeling there's going to be more episodes, and hopefully some trades can keep getting better. Okay, so the first deal is done. Um, I'll show you guys what I got. Mega Man 3, 4, and 5 complete. Boxes have a good bit of wear. Um, one of them might actually just be no manual. I can't remember. But I was asking 410 on eBay. I had them sitting there for a long time and traded stuff that should be worth more than those right now so I'll show you guys that and thank you Josh for meeting me out here he's a uh, I've done a few deals with him actually on the channel uh, he's a viewer and he's local good guy and now I'm waiting for the next person to get here coming in a black Chevy Impala got to keep all this arranged in my mind and they're getting this a black switch light and they're on their way so hopefully they're gonna come soon they're trading me a hodgepodge of stuff, and I'm pretty excited about this one. I um, think I'm going to do really, really well, definitely getting more than $200 in trade value. So I'll show you guys what I get from them as soon as they arrive. So here's what I got for the black switch light. $200 switch light I traded on Facebook Marketplace for all this stuff, and I'm very happy about it. So... You'll notice there's a Wii system. I've already tested the systems and controllers. Uh, the PS2 system, both the systems work. They're reset, ready to go. This one, I just left this open because I need to glue this on because it fell off. But the World of Outlaw Sprint Cars is a good game. It's complete. Michael Jackson, the experience going for good money right now. Mario All-Stars. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. These top three games were not in the case. That was the only issue, and I was aware of that beforehand. Um, actually, just the top two. I, the Gran Turismo was in the PS2. Um, so that's not too bad. Tomb Raider 3 is decent. Uh, Pac-Man World 2. And this, this was nice, so I was about ready to say deal, and then they said, I've got PS4 games too. Like, as I was typing the message, sent me a picture of Destiny 2 Zombie Army Trilogy, which is actually like a $20 game. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, and then Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. So it was nice to get four PS4 games just as a throw-in. You got Monkey Ball, Just Dance 3 and 4, Wii Fit Plus, and then the Mega Memory cards, which have the cards and then the discs. There's a PS1 memory card, PS2, there's the other Intech memory card. This is cool to get an orange official PS1 memory card. I might keep that. And then this memory card here. There's four nunchucks, five Wii remotes, including two pink Wii remote pluses. They're all good to go. They work. Um, two PS2 controllers. This one is perfect and working. This one is working. It's just missing a screw, so it's a little loose there. So I'm going to find a screw for it from a bad controller and just put it in. These are off-brand GameCube controllers. I was kind of bummed when I saw they're off-brand. You can see there's no Nintendo GameCube or whatever it says there. But that's okay. They were just throw-ins. Got a couple Mario Kart wheels under there. And then this stuff was also included. The Wii Fit balance board, that little scope, all the cords, and the Rock Band guitar. 
This DDR dance pad was included, but that's that's just nothing. Um, the balance board already sold. It sold for $110. I got the buy box on it, which basically means uh, if somebody hits add to cart, they're adding this one to their cart. And it sold for $110. After fees, it's like $90. After shipping, maybe $70. But that's a great price to get, and that's bundled with Wii Fit Plus. So we're already $70 of the way back. And I've yet to list any of the games and controllers and stuff, so I think that this is going to work out very, very well. I just need to get this stuff listed as soon as possible. So I sold the white Wii. I sold it with the Wii Sports Wii Sports Resort combo disc, pretty rare disc, um, so I could sell it as that bundle. I had to throw in a white Wii Remote Plus and Nunchuck. Uh, sold it for $260. I got the buy box on it, which means if somebody hits add to cart, they're adding mine to the cart. Uh, it was in excellent condition. Um, and because of the additions, I'm going to call it 180 after fees, shipping, and the additional expenses. So 180 bucks for the white Wii from that trade. Uh, definitely a great price to get. Uh, I think the Wii's are going to start going back down here pretty soon, so I'm trying to get them listed and sold as quickly as possible, and I did it with this one, so that's an awesome sale. Okay, the trade for this switch is looking pretty good because we already sold that Wii, the balance board, and that put us in the profit about $220 in value, sold the two extra white Wii remotes, and they'll sold for $44.90. I'll kind of scroll through some of the sales here. So you can see the two pink remotes sold for $50, which comes to about $37 after fees and shipping. And then, actually I sold three white Wii remotes there, so I'm going to have to get one of my extras, which I do have plenty. Um, I got the buy box on those and they're selling now, so that's awesome. You can see all these sales here, just so you know. A lot of times people ask where I'm selling. Usually it's Amazon. This is Amazon. Uh, you can often get more on Amazon. Um, the negative or the con is that uh, there's more returns because customers just return things more on Amazon in general and the fees are higher. So keep those things in mind, but... In my experience, it usually nets a higher um, profit margin even after that stuff. So we'll call these 30 piece. Puts us at 280 total between the Wii, the balance board, and those. These 35 a piece conservatively since they sold for 50. Um, but add 70 to 280 puts us at 350. Just Dance 4 sold for like 14. Pac-Man World 2 sold for like seven, uh, seventeen eighty. Just Dance 3 sold for 12 Michael Jackson The Experience Complete sold for 32 Smash Bros. Brawl sold for 32 And then Infinite Warfare sold for $13.48. So, yeah. I kind of lost track of... I was at three fifty with the Wii Remotes... So 5, 365, 370, 390, 410. So about 420 in current sales for that trade for the Switch Lite, which cost me $201. So we've already more than doubled, and there's a good bit of games left. Um, the the uh, PS2 system still has yet to sell. Oh yeah, and I also sold this. PS1 of the memory cards for 18 bucks. That'll be 10 bucks after fees. So 430. So I'm gonna project the value at 500 plus, um, especially since these sales have already happened within days of being listed. And then I got one sale from the Mega Man trade so far. The Minecraft sold for 60. So I got the buy box on that. That'll be about 45. Uh, the other things I've yet to sell, I'm actually sending in a couple of the things to FBA. And the the Wii's complete in box, I still need to get those sold. Um, and those are going to be the money back in the in the value of the trade for the Mega Man games. 
Um, it was definitely a good trade for both ends. That one was a little more even. I'll still make more money selling the other things in these times, but I think in the long run, Josh got the cool collection pieces. So it was a good trade for both of us. And I think the potential value in the stuff that I'll sell from that will be about 600 plus with the PS2 about to sell and the Wii's to sell and then the games. So we're looking pretty good, 600 plus in value. Um, the trade value was 410 pre-fee. And then 500 plus for the trade value of 200 on this one. So yet again, will it trade? Yes, it will on Facebook Marketplace. Got a lot of messages and actually have more episodes coming because I've made a lot of trades for Switch Lights. I had nine of them to start and I've traded every single one of them away as I'm filming this. So there's a lot of episodes to come. Um, I still you know, have a lot of stuff that I gotta process from the other trades so those will be coming in the in the coming weeks but yeah this is definitely something you guys can replicate try it in your area see if you can get a switch light and put it up for trade and get more in trade value than it's worth you're gonna get a lot of messages a lot of them you're just gonna have to say no no deal uh, a lot of people will offer a Nintendo DS or one PS4 game there's gonna be those people so you're gonna have to sift through those it's gonna be a little bit of time and messages but it's definitely been worth it for me. Thank you guys for watching Chase Out to the Right Price. I truly appreciate it. It's a lot of fun making these videos, and I love that you guys come along for the ride. Hopefully, you learned something and got some value out of it. If you did, if you could take a second and go ahead and hit that like button right below, that really helps the channel. It helps in YouTube metrics and helps people like you to see these videos. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell Go ahead and do that. Then you can join us and get notified every time a video comes out. And we'd love to have you along for the ride. So we'll see you next time. Stay tuned.